Hey guys, in our tutorial I'll show you today how to paint Space Marines, uh, Stalker and Hunter. Um, I'll be painting, as always, mostly just one part, maybe part of the weapon to show you how to copy that technique uh, onto the whole miniature. Uh, I'll be painting them into Ultramarines uh, theme and we'll do some weathering later. Um, I hope you don't mind music in the background. And yeah, I'm starting with heavy chipping uh, from AK. I'm basically going to spray it with my airbrush onto the whole miniature. I have base coated them with, as always, with uh, Cetal Black Primer. Yeah, and just cover the whole miniature like that and let it dry. This is how it looks after applying heavy chipping fluid. Uh, you can notice a little shiny dots um, on the model. I'll be using now Calador Sky uh, with my airbrush. Um, by the way, I made a little mistake. I let the um, fluid pull in some areas. You shouldn't do that. Uh, it shouldn't pull because it will cause some trouble later. I'm using a uh, model color white. Time to do shadows with a button black. Uh, as you may notice, I am probably skipping from model to model, but they are almost exactly the same, so it shouldn't make any difference for you. Um, I'm just going to redo the shadows on the 
mostly on the bottom of the miniature. Just a very quick step. Should be enough. On all the sides and same on the front. clean water and a brush to remove the paint basically deeper brush in the water and start brushing the miniature Just remember to wash it after brushing it because uh, some of the paint uh, still remains on the model and we just want to get rid of it. This is how it should look like. Time for wash. I uh, will be using Tamiya Color Smoke. I have already diluted with it with water. Uh, you should basically get a consistency um, thinner than a varnish but thicker than a, a wash or just do it thinner and uh, wash it twice it will be safer We need uh, winter streaking grime from AK or other streaking something and I'll be using also rust streaks uh, in a moment. Uh, just make sure you shake the pot uh, for a couple of seconds before using it. Um, it will not look very nice now but you will see later that it will create a very nice weathering effect.
and now grass streaks. Same thing, shake the pot. Just let it dry for, I don't know, five minutes and then I'll um, use It's already dry and it looks like that Now I will use AK Odorless Thinner You have to be a little bit careful because you can remove the whole uh, paint from the model if you brush it too much, but I think this is enough. I'll be doing edge highlighting now with Runefunk Steel. and bolts as well another long and boring step uh, bolt damage highlight I'm using model, uh, model color white and a wet palette and this kind of brush <laughs> it's called pure squirrel I got it from a uh, regular paint store. I'm gonna do some details now. Uh, I, will, I will show you how to paint 
this emblem gold. Uh, I'll also paint, well, I already did uh, these schools, emblems on the weapons, and I'll probably do some other things as well, and we'll show later. So, we're gonna need the Hannah's gold. And kind of dry brush this emblem. Now, Runefang Steel. And a seraphim sepia wash. And that's it. I like this gold so much, I painted some other parts with it. Uh, I did except schools, uh, these screws, a lot of other bolts, uh, these four bolts on the top, some other bits on the front, and it basically looks like that. Same with this one. Um, I also dry brushed um, hatches and barrels with Runefang steel. I'm just gonna quickly show you. Uh, <laughs> just basically dry brush it. And that's it. I will wash these metallic parts with. Agrax Earth Shade. Same with the barrels. Evil Sun Scarlet, Airbrush, and I'm gonna show you the other one. And I'm gonna do these heat vents or whatever it is. Uh, lamps, same here, heat vents, on the weapons, barrels, these, this part. <laughs> uh, on the big gun, uh, these vents. Uh, the lights, yeah, and that's it. So basically, you can sun scarlet, a lot of water, airbrush. And there you go. Just like that. Thrust layer orange.
flash gets yellow. I'm going to wash these parts with blue leather glaze. A little bit of brushwork, uh, flash is yellow, and I'm gonna do lamps. I did the same here, you can see all the lines, it's very hard to do them in front of camera, so I did them on the side. Now I'll dry brushing um, tracks and the wheels and the sport rods with Runefang steel. You get the idea. AK, track rust, just take it out, put it in a cup, mix it with water. And apply the tracks. You don't have to be careful at all at this stage. Just do something like that. When it's dry, take a Q-tip, dip it in the water, and start cleaning.
Now dry powder. That's way too much. This is it, the end of tutorial and finished models. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, all the comments and criticism are more than welcome. Uh, if you want to see another tutorials, you can check out, check out my YouTube channel. And for more pictures and other models, you can go always to my Facebook page. Uh, I'll be posting more tutorials in the future with every Games Workshop release. Mm, so, see you next time.